Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Alright, go for your life. Okay, um, the probe I was after had to measure voltages up to about 5kV and I didn't want to buy a Tektronix uh, high voltage probe for half a quadzillion dollars so I decided to roll my own. I wasn't too worried about ultra high input impedance because I'm measuring uh, quite high uh, energy sources with low source impedance so I figured I'd kick off with something with 5 high voltage 10 meg resistors in series so we've got 5 by 10 meg resistors each of those is rated at 3.5 kV handling and over here since we've got 50 meg a total load impedance over here of 50k comprising 56k fixed resistor 1 meg worth of uh, mm -hmm. meg, uh, oscilloscope input resistance and another uh, 1 meg resistor hung off it We've got some capacitive loading over here on the oscilloscope side of things. Yeah, it's going to be about 12 puff. 15. Yeah, but uh, what I need to do is put, oh, I'm shaking the uh, camera That's there, all right. put a whole stack of uh, caps across these little babies here. Mm -hmm. Strictly speaking, I didn't need particularly high capacitance, but the smallest high voltage caps I could get were 10 puff, rated at 3 kV. That goes off to the probe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our total capacitance from there to there is 2 puff. <laughs> Table shake again. Uh, because I've got a 1000 to 1 divide ratio there, mm -hmm. I need across here around about 2 nanofarad. Yep. Which was duly assembled and when tested in free air indicated pretty good results. Mm -hmm. But there's a problem. All of these points in here are relatively high impedance and become a beautiful point of noise pickup. It's very mm -hmm. easy to capacitive couple any, uh, any stray fields into those areas, so <coughs> you need to encase the whole thing in a copper tube. Which was duly done, and it was all nicely potted up and looks a little bit like that. Yep. Now, having done all of that, I discovered that my actual frequency response looks like that. Relatively close to unity down the bottom, drops to a scale factor of 0.4 up the top. Why? All of these little stray capacitances here, yep. which were not present when I measured it in free air, yep and which were well and truly exaggerated by the fact that having potted it the resin has a dielectric, dielectric effect yeah nice. of around about four four and a half five so i wind up with this huge high frequency capacitive ladder divider in there which spoils the high frequency response so okay back to the drawing board next time i make another one of these i will not put that capacitor in, mm -hmm. I'll fit it externally after I've uh, done all of the potting and fiddle it to trim for good high frequency response. Yep. The good news is the particular construction technique that I used indicate that up here at least it's flat out to well beyond 3 megahertz, nice. which is about as high as my crappy little oscillator will go, and uh, rise time indicates that it's probably got a bandwidth of about 30 meg. So, hmm. nya nya na nya, tektronics. Awesome. Thanks, Doug.